For a slightly more complicated function this time, we'll look at f of x equals x cubed and use the limit definition of the derivative to compute the derivative function. And here people go with formula 3, which again is the, the function version of the first formula that we looked at. And so let's get started with this derivative function. So again, we want to compute f prime of x. And so we're looking at the limit as h approaches 0 of this fraction, and it's going to be quite lengthy this time, f of x is x cubed, f of x plus h is x plus h quantity cubed, and as we expand that out, we'll get a bunch of terms, and then f of x, of course, is just x cubed, and we're dividing by h. And again, our job now is to simplify this fraction, and then at the end, to take the limit as h approaches 0. So continuing on, we have the limit as h approaches 0 of the fraction. And in the numerator, we need to f expand out the x plus h cubed. And so that gives us x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3xh squared plus h cubed. And then we're subtracting off the x cubed. And you could work through the details of cubing x plus h, and you'd find that we'll really get all of these terms that I have listed here. OK, like I mentioned on the first example, the terms in the numerator that do not involve h should cancel out at this point. And you can see that they are. The x cubed terms here are canceling out. They're dropping out, and everything else remaining in the numerator has a factor of h. And so at this point, I'm going to divide each term through by h. Another way to say that is that I'm going to factor out an h from the numerator and then cancel with the denominator h. So 3x squared h over h becomes a 3x squared. 3xh squared over h becomes a 3xh. And then h cubed over h simplifies to h squared. And now we take the limit as h heads towards 0. And notice that as h heads towards 0, 3x times h also heads towards 0, and h squared heads towards 0. And we are left with just limit as h approaches 0 of 3x squared plus a couple of zeros in the limit, and we get 3x squared. And so our result here is 3x squared. In other words, what we're claiming is that the derivative of x cubed works out to 3x squared. And that's what we are claiming here as our final result. OK, so let's look at a fourth example. 